Now in this video I want to show you a technique that I use for enhancing specific colour ranges, adding a bit of colour drama and pop to an image. And I'm going to use a black and white adjustment layer. Now this is an image I took of Mount Tidy in Tenerife. It's very beautiful there but very barren. And I was told that it's been used in many films as the surface of the moon and as a testing place for the Mars rover. Anyway, I digress a little bit. Let, let's get on. Though I like the image, it, I don't think it reflects the scene that I remember. It's a little bit flat. So let's try and help it along a bit. Alright, well let's make a start. Well I'll start first. I think I, I've either got some sensor dust or a couple of birds up here. So I think what I'll do is I'll try and get rid of them first. So I'll, I'll get the probably best tool is going to be the spot healing brush. Get me brush just a little bit bigger and just give them a quick little click. Okay, there they are, gone. Right, I'm happy with that. Now, what I'm going to do is use a black and white adjustment layer, like I said. So I'm going to go down bottom of the layers panel to the adjustment layer icon. And I'm going to click black and white. Now the image has gone black and white which is probably what we would have expected. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto the layers panel and I'm going to choose a blend mode. And the blend mode I'm going to choose is luminosity. Now this will let all the color come back through because now this adjustment layer is only dealing with the darks and the lights from the image. But if we look in the properties panel now, I've now got access to all these colour ranges. So I can change the dark and lightness of each of these colour ranges individually. So let's say I want to look at the reds. If I drop that down, you can see that that really pulls down the lightness and darkness of those reds. So we're now adding more contrast, which is what I want. I think the image needs it. And the yellows, we can pull that down or lighten the yellows. But again, I'll darken this down a little bit. I don't really think there is much green. There is a little bit in one of the corners. And the cyans, I can deepen that blue sky a little bit if I want. And then magentas, well, no, I don't think there's any magentas. Oh, there is. Yeah, on the mountain at the back, there is a little bit of magenta. So back to the layers panel and we'll just click that on and off just to see the difference from from there which is a little bit flat and a little bit blown out. I've managed to darken it right down which I quite like. There's still something I'd like something to draw me into the image a little bit so what I'd like to do is, is lighten up this little area at the front or at least take it back to how it was. Well the good thing here is I've got a nice mask to do it on. So what I'll do I'll go and select the brush. I'll select black as my foreground colour. I'll go and select a nice soft edge brush and a quite big one as well. So I'm going to go for ooh, something like 1600 pixels. All I'm going to do is just click a couple of times in this foreground area here just to lighten that foreground area back up again. Now I'll just go back up and turn the visibility eye on and off. So you can see that's before and that's after. And that's before and that's after. And possibly I'd, I'd still like to lighten this little up but not as much. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of my brush to about 20%. And then I'll just poof a couple of little bits of lightness into those areas. And I think my work here is done. I think that's really added a little bit of contrast and a little bit of punch to the image. So that's it. How to add a little bit of colour drama to your images using a black and white adjustment layer. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss future episodes. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.